Pretty fucking psyched to be here uh, in New Zealand. I, uh, I did have to catch a plane here, uh, which I'm a little bit fucked off about. Um, not because I'm worried about planes crashing. Fuck yeah, what a way to go. Just a smouldering pile of panic. Um, but you know, you get on the plane, you want to kick back and relax and do your fucking Sudoku, right? And then they got endless interruptions, like they do the bloody safety demonstration. And I don't know why they bother doing the safety demonstration, because if there's an emergency on an aeroplane, I'm going to turn into the most selfish motherfucker you can imagine. <laughs> I will trample the elderly on the way to exits. <laughs> I will use toddlers as flotation devices. <laughs> I just don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> and they show you stuff that you should already know, too, like how to put on a life vest. Imagine if you're in a plane that's crashing, and there's some idiot standing next to the door going like this. <laughs> Let him die. <laughs> I don't understand why we try so hard to save these fucking people, you know? <laughs> but the thing I did find a little bit weird when I was watching the safety demonstration, they got the airline's logo on the safety vest just boo across there. I thought, is that really where you want product placement? <laughs> I just imagine some guys walking along a beach somewhere and there's a bunch of bloody blue corpses washing up on it, you know? I might book a holiday. <laughs> Hang on a second, there's a phone number here, fuck. Hey, write this down. No, I don't know if they're good, but fuck, I reckon they'd be cheap, you know? And they show you how to put on a seatbelt, that's handy too. How the fuck do you get to an airport without ever having experienced a seatbelt, you know? You pretty much have to be born in the ticket queue, wouldn't you? Yeah, one to Brisbane, thank you. Two to Brisbane. <laughs> and they're gonna need to know how to put on a seatbelt. But the thing I really love is for the sake of demonstration, right, uh, they can't pick up a whole passenger and a whole seat and a whole seatbelt just to show you the bit that goes click, right? So what they've got instead, they've got a seatbelt that's a foot long. It's not attached to a seat. And someone out there thought, oh fuck, that's confusing. <laughs> we need to write demonstration only on that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one thing that I look for in a seatbelt is being attached to a fucking seat, right? <laughs> I think the second giveaway you shouldn't be wearing that particular seatbelt is the fact that to get it done up, for most people, it's so fucking short, it would really involve squeezing a kidney out one of your tear ducts, you know? <laughs> well, the number of times I've been on a plane and just prayed for it to crash, on the off chance that some fuckhead goes whizzing past in a demonstration-only seatbelt, you know? <laughs> but not attached to a seat! And they, uh, they also show you the crash position too. That's fucking handy, isn't it? 800 kilometres an hour. Yeah, just fucking lean forward a bit. No worries. <laughs> the only thing that's going to do is make you look slightly keener to die than everyone else, right? Huh? Well, we're going down. Oh, I'll beat you. Well, hey! <laughs> well, so they finally finished the safety demonstration and you think, fuck yes, I'll get stuck into my crossword, right? No because then the captain has to do his announcement. And every single time the captain's announcement goes like this, right? Uh. <laughs> Hello? You're like, fuck, come on! <laughs> if you don't know what you're gonna say, don't turn on the fucking microphone! <laughs> It doesn't exactly fill me with confidence to know that the guy flying the plane has that sort of reaction time, you know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like up ahead <laughs> there is a mountain. Bang! Just. <laughs> Just turn off the microphone and turn left, you fucking idiot, you know? And they always tell you stuff you couldn't possibly care about, too, like the cruising altitude. I don't give a shit about the cruising altitude, right? As long as I can't hear a scraping noise. <laughs> you know, tell me about the cruising altitude if you're gonna do something a bit fucking weird, you know? Like go underground or something. Hey, g'day, we're gonna mix it up a bit today. <laughs> Try boring through the centre of the earth to Brisbane. <laughs> Estimated time of arrival, no fucking idea. 
cruising altitude, minus 50 feet. There you go, tell your kids about that. But as I said, no one's tried this before, so it could be a good idea just to lean forward from the very beginning. <laughs>